I want to talk about the process of the litigation here, Catherine. Catherine's the lawyer representing the complainant. And you originally brought, or your client originally brought this claim in British Columbia. What happened with it there? And why did the Trudeau Foundation fight that jurisdiction? So the Trudeau Foundation is fortunate to have many millions of dollars of taxpayer money to fight this case. That's money my client doesn't have, but she has me and I'm pretty spicy. Um, But they have essentially hired a team of lawyers across the country to fight us. And they've been fighting us for years on procedural grounds. So they're doing everything they can to delay the case. I initially brought it in Vancouver. That's where uh, my client lives. That's where her um, ancestral homeland is. I had thought the Trudeau Foundation would um, respect the fact that she wanted to have her case prosecuted in her territory, uh, given the fact that the foundation is, uh, well, they claim to be very supportive of First Nations. Um, They told me no, they wanted to have it in Montreal. Um, I said, we're not going to Montreal. My client doesn't speak French and I can't practice law there. And there's many other reasons why we don't want it in Montreal. So uh, I then decided to bring the claim in Newfoundland, which is actually where the alleged misconduct occurred. And the foundation challenged me there as well. Um, So they have uh, held this case up for years with their procedural shenanigans. I've never experienced anything like this. Uh, but they have significant resources to deploy across the country. Now, what happened in the Newfoundland case? Because they challenged the jurisdiction there. I know there was a decision recently. Where does that stand? So um, there was a decision uh, recently that the case has been now stayed in Newfoundland, um, and we have the right to bring the case in Montreal. Essentially, um, without getting into too much weeds on it, there was a anal- the, the judge did, did an analysis of the case and determined that um, on a balance of convenience factors, it would be more convenient for all the parties to litigate this case in Montreal. Um, we are actually going to be appealing the decision. Uh, we don't agree with it. And uh, in particular, I think the experience of my client as a trauma victim um, and someone who has fought, you know, been in this in this procedural jungle for years was not properly accounted for. Um, The reality is uh, for her to have to restart her case in in an entirely new province against the most powerful organization in Canada doesn't make any sense. And the fact that the foundation's interests were given priority over hers, a, a vulnerable plaintiff, is not right. And uh, so we will be appealing it. It feels a bit like the Trudeau Foundation strategy is just to keep blocking the claim on procedural or jurisdictional grounds to avoid getting to the merits of the case. Is that part of the, the legal strategy to just delay things and wear down Absolutely. the complainant? In my experience, when a defendant um, knows that they will lose on the merits, they um, instead focus on trying to drain the the resources and the willpower of the plaintiff by um, bogging them down with procedural delays. And I think their hope was to make her give up. Um, and they don't really know who they're dealing with, though. My client is not someone who's going to give up. She will, if this takes 10 years, she'll take 10 years. I will too. So, um, you know, the fact that they're, they haven't even defended the case yet. Like, they haven't even filed a statement of defense. They have actually not denied most of what we alleged in the statement of claim. Um, They're focused entirely on trying to prevent her from accessing justice, which is absolutely outrageous, um, considering what this organization purports to stand for. Now, in, in just about 30 seconds, if this claim is forced to relocate to Quebec, will it have to start from scratch and would she need to get a new lawyer? She would have to start totally from scratch. So she'd have to refile a brand new statement of claim. Um, And yes, she will be she will need a lawyer who can practice in Quebec. I cannot practice in Quebec. Um, I uh, don't know the civil code. I'm not familiar with it. She will have to start totally from square one. And I'm sure there will be translation costs for her as well if she 
if, oh, if, if, if she uh, doesn't speak French either. Either We've got to go to commercial break now, but we will be right back. 